Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how you can use the new 111 features to build a tree farm. So I mostly use the new observer block to build a universal tree farm. And I think it looks cool. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of redstone around anymore. You can mostly use the observer block now for the wiring. And I think it looks really cool. It looks like yeah, next century somehow. <laughs> Um, yeah, because we don't have to use so much redstone anymore, it's a lot lag friendlier now. But still, you still need the old features. For example, to detect the trees, you still use um, a piston to detect the tree growth. So you still need the old buds. And you also need redstone dust, of course. Also cauldrons and so on. I think, yeah, when working with, with the new observer block, not much has changed. I mean, we just have new possibilities to power stuff. For example, that's one of the best features that you can power air blocks now and then can go around the corner and it's really useful. And yeah, if you look inside, it's the first time you can make a flush tree farm. So no redstone dust or repeaters or something else is pointing inside. And I would say let's try it out. So it's normal tree farm. I guess you have seen this before. It's more or less the same speed as the old redstone dust basis one or the simple ones could still make faster tree farms, uh, but then you need redstone dust again. So yeah, works with all the trees. And also another advantage of the observer block is that you're no longer limited by the single strength. So you can build 12 high tree farms without a problem. What I didn't do yet is attaching a yeah, TNT module or a wizard cage, um, because I suspect that observer blocks will be changed and this farm would probably be broken in a final 111 release. And I also used some really nice features of, of the observer block. So if you push an observer block that is facing away from the piston against another piston, the piston would stay powered, which is super useful in case of the tree farm. And there's also an, another behavior. So if you push an observer block that is facing to the side, then it would shortly power another piston. And as you can see, it is super useful to take out leaf blocks. Yeah, and I used this in a tree farm right here. So here we have observer blocks, the ones that point in this direction, help powering the triple piston extender here. So this piston would be in this position and has a block in front. And yeah, that's the nice behavior about it, that you don't get a short pulse, so you can keep this observer block extended for a while, so the piston has enough time to extend and fully detract and don't lose the block. That's why this is kind of useful in case of tree farms. And here those piston, those observer blocks point in that direction and they're powering those pistons here, which take out the leaves blocks, which wouldn't be accessible otherwise. Okay, so yeah. It's the first universal tree farm with mostly the new observer blocks. I hope it doesn't get broken, uh, but I suspect it will. I've heard already some rumors. Ah, before I forget, yeah, that's also a nice feature. Instead of having chests upon chests with the bone mill, one bone mill, uh, one bone mill chest is enough for a lot of uh, shulker boxes inside. So this is just a, a small shulker box system. Whenever it's empty, we will break it and bring the empty shulker box to the store to this chest again. So I guess that's all I wanted to cover today. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.